Rishi Sunak's ministers seem to be all over the place on the issue of migration and border control. This time, it's Grant Shapps who goes on TV and doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay, get ready for this one because it's slightly frustrating. Um, this is about Grant Shapps, uh, the Minister for Net Zero and Energy Security. <laughs> we already made jokes about that before. It's funny. So he decided to go on Sophie Ruiz's show. And we talked about that interview, a couple of other segments about uh, the other topics. But this is about when Sophie Ridge showed him the graph when it comes to net migration. Net migration, which has gone up massively to over half a million. And it's going to get to close to 1 million. So you've got net migration uh, figures. Then you've got the small boats figures. Then you've got the the legal asylum seekers. So from Ukraine, Hong Kong or Afghanistan. That's a whole different scheme. Grant Shapps decided to spin the message. Luckily, Sophie Ridge, for once, was actually on top of it. And she held him to account. Let's watch this. I just want to have a look at what's been happening to net migration. Mm. I think we can have a look mm. uh, now because we have been seeing record levels of net <clears throat> migration to the UK. You can see they're absolutely jumping uh, recently. And there are reports that this number is set to rise, mm. to even double to mm. a million. Yep. Are you in control of net migration? So that's straightforward. Let's wait for this. You've just conflated two issues, actually. You've, uh, I just want to sort of correct this. You've talked about small boats. And then you've talked about net migration. Yeah, absolutely. These are two net different migration. things. Small boats are absolutely right. criminal this is why, gangs This is why I want to talk people not... Yes. This is what I'm saying. I'm saying yes. that okay. immigration debate has been dominated yes. by small boats. But actually, I want to talk about yeah. this. Legal yeah. migration well, look, to the UK. Legal migration. This is about mass migration. Uh, that is skyrocketing. Look, well, well, look, first of all, understand that 503,000 figures, all these larger numbers, include hundreds of thousands of people that you, me and many other people, myself personally, I've had three of these people who've lived in my house in these numbers here. In oh, I'm so proud of you, Grant. Last year, they're Ukrainian of course. refugees. Of course. And this country has had a big heart. We've opened the, the country for Ukrainian it's refugees, for British nationals from Hong Kong. Take those two groups alone, and it's well over 300,000 uh, of these numbers. Yeah. And then, of course, we've um, had people from um, Syria uh, and elsewhere. So, I, actually, I'm rather proud of our record, but I do... Rather proud of our record. Get that. Just caution against conflating two very different issues. That of illegal Absolutely right. immigration, criminal but gangs... I'm just talking about... And le legal migration. Talking about legal migration. This is different. This is about legal net migration. There are reports that this number could double. Well, well, is that OK? Well, I mean, maybe it is. Maybe well, you should say we should be relaxed about well, no. students, yeah. about... We, we have, we have uh, a, a migration advisory... Uh, committee that uh, says, look, there's a shortage in this area or, or that area. One of the advantages now uh, with Brexit is we have control over our own policies. So we don't say that because it's a bit of a mess. You, you just give it more ammo to us. We, we, we can actually say you keep claiming that Brexit is giving you the powers to control the borders, which it has. But migration has gone up since Brexit because you've lost control of our borders, you idiots. You can say... Uh, we, we want people to help with the specific se uh, sector. But as, as I say, you, and you'll remember this a year ago, a huge clamour to ensure that we were providing safe haven to refugees from Ukraine. Yep. Three of them lived in my house. So Many other people... Oh, you didn't say that before. In, 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 case, in case we didn't know, three Ukrainians lived in Grant's house. Who yeah. brought, uh, uh, were, were, were very generous and brought people just to be into clear. their homes. No and generous. that's included in these numbers. No, uh, just to be clear then, we should be relaxed in, in your view about high legal migration numbers, even if they hit a million. I, I, well, I, for a start, I don't think they're going to hit a million. And secondly... Oh, really? OK, we're going to remember this, guys. Remember this moment, 16th of May, 2023. We're not going to hit a million. Uh, the important thing is that Britain has control. And if this country says... So the question is, should we be relaxed by high num levels of net migration? Well, we, we should always make sure that we only have people come here uh, oh. that our rules and uh, our, our policy bring here. I'm so done, done with this. if we say we are going to invite people... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm done. Yeah, just if we're going to invite people, make sure you inter integrate. It doesn't really matter. The numbers are going up. And that's the issue, Grant. And people are sick and tired. They well, did not vote for this. You did not get the con consent of the public, none of you in the political system, to do this. If you go into a general election and you put it in your manifesto that we are going to be introducing mass migration, if people vote for you, then you could say, well, we did get the vote. 
but you didn't get the vote based on mass migration. In fact, you got the vote based on controlling the borders. You are now betraying your voters. Now, let me know what you think. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.